Modern Agriculture Guava Farming Guava Cultivation and Harvesting Guava farming is the cultivation of guava fruit. Guava is a fruit that grows healthier and tastier in tropical and subtropical regions. Guavas have many health benefits and contain many rich minerals such as vitamin C, antioxidants, and fiber. In this episode, you will see how farmers grow guavas on large scales and how they process them to give you the perfect delicious fruit. Let's see how our guava garden works. But before that, don't forget to join our wonderful community by subscribing to our channel for more similar videos. Let's continue watching and see how they are farmed. Due to high demand throughout the local and international markets, guava farming has turned into a lucrative agricultural venture. Guava fruit is firm and hard to touch. It can be grown on all soil types from alluvial to lateral. It can be healthily grown in heavy but well-drained soil. Deep, crumbly, and well-drained soils play the best with guavas. For a better stand, topsoil must be rich in nutrients. Though saline and alkaline are not suitable for them, however, a pH range of 4.5 to 8.2 is compatible with them. The guava field must be plunged deeply, plowed, and tormented before plowing pits. Before monsoon, pits must be dug about 0.6 by 0.6 by 0.6 meters in dimension. After completing 15 to 20 days, pits should be filled with soil including 20 kilograms of organic manure and 500 grams of superphosphate while monsoon is the best time to plant them. Generally, guavas are planted at a distance of 3.6 meters to 5.4 meters. Anyhow, yield can be increased by the increase in plant density. However, you should know that by doing so, a clear reduction in size and quantity will appear in your field. You will be surprised to hear that irrigation is not needed at all in the beginning. However, plants required a maximum of 8 to 10 irrigation in the very first year. In light soils and dry areas, hand water is suggested to save their lives. The trees that are fully grown need water on an interval of a week during May to July, while watering in the winter season reduces a fruit dropping problem. For healthier and high quality guavas, drip irrigation has proved very beneficial. A surprising fact is that it not only saves 60% of water but also increases in taste and number of fruits. Guava gives a positive response to the applications of manures, fertilizers, and organic orders. Trees must be sprayed with 0.45 kg zinc sulfate and slaked lime of about 0.34 kg, mixed into water of almost about 16 gallons. It will cure the ZN deficiency in the plant. Though these sprays depend on the deficiency. In the guava planting, manual weeding is suggested always. To run the guava orchard perfectly, soil and plowing two times a year is essential. To discourage weed growth, mulching basins twice a year is also important. It is a common thought that guavas originated from the area of Mexico, Central America, or Northern South America. In Peru, archaeological sites have evidence of guava cultivation in 2500 BC. Guavas were embraced as production in hot parts of Asia, areas of the United States, Tennessee, North Carolina, southward as well as the West and Hawaii, warmest parts of Africa, South Asia, Southeast Asia, and Oceania. In the 19th century, guavas were brought to Florida first time. They were produced there on the broad areas of North Chipley and Fort Pierce. Anyhow, they are considered the initial protection procedure form of the Caribbean fruit fly. Oh yes, in Florida, where guava orchids were attacked by infestations and it became vital to protect them from their attack. There also is evidence of surviving guavas from these pests. After surviving the infestation, they finally produced in many tropical and subtropical countries.
Now we have cultivated multiple varieties of guavas. Since the middle of the 20th century, Greece is the country where guavas are cultivated on large scales, and they are larger producers of guavas. When they are grown from seeds, they can give you a good yield in only two years and can do the same for 40 years. There are two seasons observed for guava blooming. One is April to May, and the other is September to October. There are numerous physiological and environmental factors that caused fruit drop in guava field. This problem can be resolved by spraying the bearer trees of GA, which plays highly effect on the drop. However, other problematic atmospheres must be parted from fruit bearer trees in time to reduce the drop. Guava will produce fruits in its second to fourth year. A single tree of guava can give you 23 to 36 kilograms of fruit if the conditions are perfect. In many developed countries, proper pruning and care turns that guava give a huge yield twice a year. So, there are a lot of guavas. How you will know the best time to harvest them before they lose their taste and delicious texture. Well, for that, let's watch the video until you get your answer. Guavas are firm and hard and they will turn to pulpy texture. If you pluck them before ripe, they will not be ready to eat and remain unripe. However, it is also a problem being hanged over trees as flies will attack and will wipe them out. There is no exact time to harvest the guavas, but you will find indicators when harvesting is a vital step to take. Since you have no specific season, you can judge them by their color. Another indicator is their aroma must reach your nose. Well, if we talk about harvesting, it can be done by placing guavas into paper bags along with bananas or apples and the gas they discharge will do their thing. However, handpicking is the most common way of harvesting. However, now machines are working in developed countries for this purpose. These machines are designed to shake the trees and fruit fall down. Attached net containers are filled and then taken to the storage house. Ripened guavas can be stored for five to seven days in refrigerators. While green but mature guavas can be kept for two to four weeks in a cool, moist place. Temperature must be between 45 to 50 degrees Fahrenheit, 7 to 10 degrees Celsius. And humidity should be at least 80 to 90 percent is a must. Well, the next procedure starts from here when guavas are ready to sell in the market. Many suppliers sell their products to companies who are eager to process them for different purposes. Such as guava smoothies, juices, and add-in desserts. If you purchase your guavas from grocers, they often treated their guavas with edible wax to give them a long life. If you do not want them to eat, you can wash them with warm water and the wax will be removed. Now you can as enjoy your guavas as you want to. Hope you have enjoyed the whole video. Tell us your favorite part of the video. Until the next video, stay tuned and stay with us.